What's up guys, I'm GamerMD83 and I had the amazing opportunity to play The Witcher 3's largest and last expansion pack, Blood and Wine, at CD Projekt Red's office in Venice Beach, California. As always, the team was very welcoming and was awesome enough to provide me with everything I needed in order to share with you guys a preview of my hands-on experience with the new expansion. Before I jump into my playthrough, let me just say that the expansion is huge. I played almost three hours of it and I can tell you I didn't even scratch the surface. Not only does this introduce a completely new map, but also many additions to the menus, new gear, new abilities, new monsters, new characters, new music, so much. I was completely blown away. In this footage, I did my best to share a bit of what the expansion provides without ruining the story for you guys. This experience is so new that you guys just have to experience it for yourselves. So, without further ado, this is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent nor leave widows and orphans to fates underserved. Answer you now, our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star Cross city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Oh, the colors here look so cool. I love that. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Oh, Carol, thing, let go. What is that? Cypher? No, it is. Oh, my God. Oh my god, how do I? Go <laughs> yet? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Little sheep, run! Oh, they killed the little sheep! <gasps> Dude, he just ripped through Quinn. <laughs> yeah, okay, Gwen doesn't work. <laughs> we can get fire, maybe? Kinda. Oh, yeah, fire, yeah! Oh. I wanna go look over here. Oh, look at the little, this little lake. No freaking way. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. This is from the books. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, that monster's from the books. <laughs> That's the one that almost killed Siri. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Like a it's got a weird name. Giant. Centipede, it's got a, oh my god, level 43, dude, I gotta try this, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking try this and die. <gasps> yeah, there's no way. Oh man. I, I kind of remember the name that they have, they have this like weird name. So they were in, um, Uh, sort of destiny when Geralt found Ciri in the forest. 
And she was a little girl. She was like almost killed by one of them. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. I love that there's like all these fights. That's cool. Like right off the bat. Do they sell anything here? Let me see. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Um, have this uh, heard any rumors? Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. <laughs> Ask the serious question. Oh, <gasps> all the Gwen. <gasps> oh, nice. Okay, cool. I hope, hopefully, I could finally make my monsters deck with this and Scoyotel. What I've always want to see, wanted to see in a, in a Witcher game was, I was hoping for something like this with this one, and I think it would have been really perfect because everyone here, well not everyone, but a lot of people look like Dandelion. If Geralt would just like take Dandelion on some of these missions, that'd be so cool. I mean, he would do it in the books. That'd be hilarious, like when he, he fights monsters or something. <laughs> Dandelion's like just off in the bushes. <laughs> Hiding or something like that would be so good. Damn it. Oh. You must still be here. Dude, what is that? I hear something like. Oh, where's the other trap? Hello? No, 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 lady! Hold on, hold on, please, please. Destroyed by Yurden, R, and Iggy. <laughs> Their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. <laughs> he just puts it in his pocket. <laughs> hands all moving. Just the thought of like <laughs> this moving hand in Geralt's back pocket is kind of creepy. Let's go. I already got my hair did and everything. Oh, this is not gonna go good. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh no, bro! Oh god, stamina is your friend. Oh my god, this guy's gonna come for me! This guy's just chilling there. He's all, oh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Viscount Julian, no. Wish to see Dandelion, your grace? Yes. <laughs> I mean, no. Uh, yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. <laughs> Carol, you should have brought him. <laughs> Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, <gasps> yet did not expect? Yes. Why, yes. Yes, your grace. The law of surprise. Time honored. Hmm. So I got we shall be The surprises we encounter on a daily basis would be of no value to one such as you. What awaits at the palace are edicts to sign and portraits of suitors from far off lands. I fear you would find little use for either. Yeah, never mind. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, Ooh. and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Um, Title to the vineyard sure. shall be given to you at once. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the form. A murder what? is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. 
Horses, ready our horses. Lady, just let me do my thing, dude. Your grace. <laughs> hey, that is silk. Be careful. Give it to me. <laughs> He's all, now it's mine. The participants must find a horn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hair, Milton, hides. I mean, we need to oh, find these things too. It's a new song, no I think. Option. But time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Whoa, golden fish, unicorn horn. Uh, this one. I like unicorns. Unicorn. How do I catch it? Aw, it likes Geralt. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't make me freaking chase you. There we go. Yennefer would love this. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some oh, don't. proper sportsmanship. You know what? I'm gonna use it on you too. Listen, I didn't break any rules. <laughs> so, I love how their heads just glow. We unlucky, that's all. <laughs> oh, what's this? A complete collapse of social norms. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Carol turning off lights like nothing, as usual. No, 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 no. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. Yeah, Axie again. <laughs> when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift fitting. <laughs> a key. <laughs> that was good. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> What does it say? Does it do anything? <gasps> Hell yeah! <laughs> Ride that unicorn, girl. <laughs> it's like fly or something. <laughs> to get the shots. What? I mean, this guy's creepy. Oh no. So I'm gonna stop this right here. This is a big battle and pretty linked to the story, so I'll leave this to you guys. Instead, let's talk a little bit about the new mutations and abilities. This is probably one of my favorite additions to the expansion pack because it completely opens the doors to playing The Witcher 3 in a different way, making it almost seem like a small Witcher game on the side. By small, I mean around 30 hours. This menu could be very complicated at first. I pretty much took a good 15, 20 minutes just testing this thing out. And I still didn't understand it completely. But after reviewing it, I think I get the idea. And it's really not that hard. So I cut that whole part out of me just in awe. Don't believe me? Check it out. Oh my god. I'm gonna flip out right now. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Ah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, nice. Ooh. So yeah, let me just tell you <laughs> what this is all about. So pretty much the big mutagen in the middle is called uh, a synapse. All of these take research in order to unlock. There is a specific person that you have to go to to unlock these uh, new mutations. And his name is Professor Moreau. So this is all based off of trees. In this build that I was playing, they already had the three trees uh, researched so that it could be easier for me to test out. And like usual, each mutation represents a different type of build, which is science, combat, and alchemy. But the really cool thing about this is that it really opens the door for mix and match builds. Because before, you could only put specific mutations on abilities and if you wanted a bonus. So for example, if you had signs all in one ability slot, you would want to put a blue mutagen in order to get bonuses for those abilities. In this case, you could mix and match and open up some really cool looking mutagens at, like they will even turn yellow if you mix and match. There are trees branching out between combat and signs. There's also another branch that actually includes all three of them, signs, combat, and, and alchemy, uh, or combat and alchemy. 
So every time the synapse, that big circle, that mi big mutagen in the middle, upgrades a level, because you will be able to see that once you start researching all the trees around you, that synapse will start upgrading. It'll be, it'll go to level one, it'll go to level two. And it says right there, in order to upgrade the synapse again, you need to research at least four or eight, um, of the mutagens that are already there. So every time that synapse upgrades, you get an extra slot for abilities. And the reason why I said that this could really benefit mix and match builds is because the, depending on the synapse, whether you mixed uh, combat and signs or signs and, and alchemy, you will see that in those ab ability slots, sometimes it's, it just has blue, blue, but it's, if you mix and match, it has blue, red. So depending on what you research, then that synapse will benefit those builds. So the simple way of thinking about this without looking at that tree is think of that big synapse in the middle as one of those smaller mutagen slots on the sides of the ability slots. That's pretty much what it is. That middle mutagen will benefit or will give bonuses to the to the ability slots that go above it and below it. It grants you so many more bonuses. It grants you more ways of mixing and matching. It grants your Geralt to be able to try a lot of different things. Like this really makes me want to try different builds. And even if you want to stick with your, your with the same build, like if you just want to go straight up signs like I've been doing, this still benefits you a lot. It'll make your Geralt so much more powerful. Like one of them that I fell in love with is that Ard now freezes people. That's awesome. That's kind of how it works, but I think the best way of understanding this is actually putting it in action. So don't worry if you're a bit confused. Once you start playing it, trust me, you will get it. Also, a really cool thing that was added to the map is that you can now place special markers. I don't know exactly what they all mean, but these are some of the ones that you could place. You can place a maximum of five normal markers and 10 total of the special markers. So now let's go back so I can show you the new armors. Oh my god, let me see the griffin armor. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's see. Grandmaster feline armor. How's that look? Oh! <gasps> Back to tunics. Or not tunics, but hoods. This is like Witcher 2. I wanna see them all. Oh my god, he looks like in Witcher 2! That's so cool. Okay, that's feline. Are these all the like, swords too? Oh, nice. Feline sword. Silver. Manticore? This is Griffin. <gasps> oh, it looks kind of the same. More chainmail. He still looks fat. <laughs> Ursine, let's see how cool this looks. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh man, the Ursine armor looks really cool. She's fit to wet. Then Wolf. Oh god. <gasps> that looks so good. I think I'm gonna change my build to adrenaline. So I can wear the wolf armor. Is this no? Is this the viper? No. Is it? Where's the viper? Is this the manticore? Oh, that looks so cool. It 
that's it. No, sign intensity. Ooh, I can wear this. No way. No, that's wool. Nice. This is really good for the for an alchemy build. So I'm gonna make this pink. I have to go to a spate, a place to do that, I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> Orange. Dude, that actually looks pretty cool. Oh my God, I love this. I'm gonna be here all day, just, just so you know. Black. This one. <gasps> no way. That actually looks so much better. White? Oh no. Mm. Red. Aw oh, yeah. Oh, I should make it purple and we could like go and get with dandelion and it would be perfect. <laughs> I know, I was, I was kind of like, <laughs> I was coloring my stuff. <laughs> oh, he could sleep? Oh, not, okay, that's perfect, because I have so many freaking books in my thing. Oh, cool. And I could put, put stuff wherever there's A, yeah, wherever it's telling you that you can put some things. Oh, over oh, here. And you collect these throughout the DLC. Yeah. That is so cool. And uh, if you go, like, you have enough money and stuff where you can go upgrade this. Oh, to like be uh, like more fancy. How might I be off surface, sir? Think we could do some renovating. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Let's do some work on the interiors, the grounds. Be nice to improve those. We'll discuss uh, the grounds. Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir. You would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? We need an arm. Oh, cool. Could use a grindstone. We'll discuss. Um... My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Order a table. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Oh, cool. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. 
They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. That is too cool. Yes. I always wanted something like that. Because I collect the, the Witcher armors, even though I don't use all, all of them. But I always have them in my stash. Oh, you could uh, plant your herbs? Those plants are... Uh Standard, but you can upgrade your garden to be an herb garden where you oh, can cool. plant what you want. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Weapon rack. Just put it. There you go. Looks all pretty. Bed level, maximum vitality increases. Oh. Oh, now it heals him. Bonus to experience gain. Oh, cool. Sleep until 10 p.m. Alchemy. Okay. That's cool. Oh, nice. So you get these bonuses. That's really cool. This is huge. Oh my god. <gasps> no way! This is like the size of a full map. <gasps> that is so cool. Damn. Props. 